Hi, I'm Kevin Frank from Michigan State University. Today we're going to talk about soil testing and what value it can have for making some recommendations for your lawn. Now, taking a soil test may be one of the first things you want to do to see what nutrients you might require for your lawn and also it'll tell you some other things about your soil such as the pH level and possibly the organic matter content in the soil. So the first thing we do is I've collected a couple things here that are going to assist me in taking the soil sample. Now I've actually got a soil sampling probe. More likely you're probably just going to use a garden trowel or something similar to extract your sample. I've actually marked mine to a depth of four inches with just a, a Sharpie pen. Most of the time when you're taking a soil sample for turf grass purposes, you're probably going to go to a sampling depth of approximately four inches. Now, other things I have, of course I have my trusty soil sampling box. Depending on where you get your soil sample process, they may give you a box or they may actually give you a bag to put the sample in. Um, I'm going to test mine through the Michigan State University Extension Service. So they've given me a box to sample with mine. And I've also got a bucket. And notice it's just a plastic bucket. You want to avoid any sort of metal or galvanized buckets or anything to avoid possible contamination from zinc or other micronutrients. Now, what you're going to do is go around the, your yard and just take maybe three or four samples. Try to take from areas that are all similar. If you have any areas in your lawn that are drastically different, especially with soil types, you'd probably want to take those samples separately. But for most of us, we can probably go around three to four different areas, fill up the soil box, and then we can send that in for analysis. So I'll just go ahead now and take a soil sample from this area, just pressing into the soil. I'm going to go a little bit farther than my four inch depth because, of course, on the probe, it's a little tricky to get out from this area, this, all of the soil. So once you kind of shove it up just a little bit, you're going to want to take the sample. One of the first things to do is we want to remove the green material because soil testing is calibrated for soils, not for plant material. So we want to remove this little bit of green material and the little bit of thatch layer there, get all the leaves out of there, and then I'll just take this sample here and I'll just go ahead and dump that into my bucket. Like I said earlier, we'll just go around the lawn, do that about maybe four or five different locations, mix it up a little bit, and then put it in the box and we should be ready to go. Okay, once I've collected my final sample, I'm just going to go ahead and dump that one into the bucket. I've already gone around the lawn and probably taken about five or six samples at least just to try to make sure I have enough sample for my soil testing. I've got them in the bucket. I've kind of mixed them around a little bit. Now I'm just going to go in, grab a handful, and fill up my soil box. Now, kind of once you close the lid on this box, that's where uh, you know, you're going to start to get your analysis from. You're going to want to make sure and label everything, then give you your directions at your county extension office on everything you need to include. But of course, include the sampling depth of what you took, lawn type, and then there's going to be many different things you can, many pieces of information you can get from this soil test once it is analyzed. Key among them is going to be what are your phosphorus requirements for the lawn, and it's also give you some indications of what are the potassium requirements for the lawn. Especially in Michigan, many of our lawns have adequate phosphorus levels and the soil test will indicate if you need to apply any additional phosphorus or not. So that is one key piece of information. You also get some general recommendations back from the soil test on uh, what the soil pH is, what the organic matter content is, and general fertilization recommendations including nitrogen rate recommendations for your lawn. Uh, typical turnaround time is probably around a week to maybe 14 days at the most. And throughout Michigan and many times of the year we have special soil testing programs for homeowners. So make sure to look in your local areas to see if any of those programs are available. They're typically in the spring of the year. They often have reduced costs associated with them and quick turnaround time. So that should give you some ideas on what type of information you can get from taking a soil sample. And it is a key part of trying to determine fertility recommendations for your lawn.